Hey guys, how's it going? Jared Garno here. Uh, here's my weekly off the cuff lesson. Basically, I'm just teaching about whatever is going through my head uh, during the week. So let's get started. Um, so today's lesson is going to be a little bit of a deviation from what I usually do. Usually I try to focus on slide guitar and improvisation, soloing techniques and that sort of thing. But tomorrow I am seeing Wolfpack at Levitate Music Festival. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, they're super tight, really good group. If you haven't checked them out yet, they're a modern funk uh, group. Uh, they're amazing. And you know, one of the bass players, Joe Dart, is one of the best in the game. Huh? I'm just gonna adjust that. There we go, much better. All right, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So today's lesson is actually gonna be inspired by them and some of the techniques they use. So uh, Wolfpack, is um, a funk group. So automatically when you think funk, you want to think of 16th notes. That's kind of the groove we're thinking of. Uh, a lot of the blues based stuff I've been doing is more based on a triplet groove. But if we're talking about funk, you know, uh, James Brown on up, we're thinking 16th notes. And how do we count 16th notes? If for you guys that don't, may not know how to count already. Um, we count it as one E and, uh, okay? So, in terms of fours, it'd be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Uh, the E and R are literally just the notes, I mean the letters E and A, and then the and symbol um, is the and beat that you normally see on eighth notes. So in terms of guitar, what we wanna um, think of is alternating. So going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And although I'm using my hands right now uh, to pick, uh, you can easily do this um, with a pick as well. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of, I'm mostly a finger style guitar. So that's what I've adapted um, to work into my funk playing. But anyways, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And I'm just flicking my index finger up, down and up. So down for the down strokes and the ands, and then for the E's and us, I'm doing up strokes. And that's a combination of me flicking my finger and just a little bit of a, ri a wrist motion too. And to get used to that, you know, I would just start with I have the metronome going right now, and I have the um, I have beat one accented. And right now we're gonna just start with um, 16th notes. So going two, three, and a four, and a. So nothing fancy, just good timing and technique. could honestly feel myself rushing a little bit. All right, so now, now that we have the basics of 16th notes under our belt, um, we're gonna learn a chord to go along with it. So when we're thinking of funk as well, uh, what better than nine chords? So in this case, we're gonna learn an um, E9. Um, I'm in open E, so what I'm doing is I'm playing, I'll give you both the open E and um, the uh, standard uh, fingering. So for open E, well, I'll start with standard. So if we're trying to play an E9 chord, um, you have your middle finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. You have your index finger on the um, sixth fret of the fourth string. And then you're barring your first, second, and third string at the seventh fret. And it's not gonna sound like if I play it like that, so I'm gonna play it in open E so you can hear what it sounds like in actually with that high note on top. So as you can see, how I'm playing it in open tuning is I'm uh, lowering my middle finger down to the um, fifth fret on the fifth string to make up for the um, fifth string being tuned up a whole tone. I'm playing my index finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then I'm putting my middle finger on the sixth fret of the um, 
third string, and then I'm barring the seventh fret on the first and second string. Okay? So in terms of intervals, that would be one, three, flat seven, nine, which a nine is the same thing as the second interval, but just an octave up, typically a nine. The reason why it's called a nine is because it's uh, typically expressed as a higher note in the voicing. If it was an F sharp, like down here, if we were to play like an F sharp, um, just sounds a little bit muddy that way. So that's just an F sharp on the bottom. So yeah, that's our E9 chord. And you know, if we're thinking of just like um, different styles you can do, you know, that's used in like Sex Machine by James Brown and a bunch of other tunes like. so on and so forth. But the pattern we're gonna work on today is more on building your control of your 16th notes. So the first part of the pattern is we're gonna be playing all, um, we're gonna be strumming 16th notes the entire time. Um, but we're gonna be missing, for this first round, we're gonna be missing on the E and an A. Uh. So we're just going to do downstroke. So we're going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Oh, and actually pick those. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And then once you do that for a measure, you do all the E's. So your first upstroke in the group of 16th notes. So one E, uh, one e and a, one E and a, two E. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Next, the ands. So your second downstroke out of the group is 16th note. So 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a. And then lastly, the ahs. So 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Okay. And the idea is you take that pattern, uh, you do one, do it for, do each pattern for a measure each, then two beats, then a beat each. And it ends up sounding sort of like this. Um, I actually haven't done this exercise in a while, so let's see how it goes, but I'm gonna try my best. So I just have this at 60 beats per minute. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a two. Right, let's try it again. 3 E and a 4 E and a This is all downstrokes. Now the ahs. Now the ands. Now the ahs. Two beats. E. Ah. And I mean. So that was one beat each there. I was uh, having a hard time trying to talk and do it at the same time. Um, but let me try that one more time. So, so all down beats. E's. Ands. Ahs. Ands, I mean down beats. E's, ands, ahs, down, E, and, ah. All right, so, and then of course you can um, increase the speed and all that good stuff to get it uh, moving faster, but you know, eventually work your speed all the way up until you can uh, control those accents. And I think uh, a good phrase to call this is controlling accents on the rhythmic grid. Um, so that's a good way to think of it, but yeah, that's the basics of funk strumming right there. 16th notes, um, learning to control your accents on the downbeats, the E's, the ah, uh, ands, and ahs. And, um, 
also just like with your left hand, just lifting and pressing down when uh, you're supposed to with those different accents. So on each of the down beats and pressing down and then lifting. And then on the E's, I'm pressing down and then lifting. Or... Okay, so yeah, that's uh, it for today, guys. Um, good lesson. I hope you got a lot out of it. I know it was a little bit of a deviation from what we normally do, but um, like I said, funk strumming is um, essential for all sorts of styles of music, including, you know, Allman Brothers and some of the more blues-related acts. You know, uh, if you listen to Freddie King's later career, he um, was involved with some funk musicians and made an entire album um, that was based on, like, a funk sort of blues style, Burglar. Uh, that's a really good one to check it out. And, um, yeah, just uh, that's for you guys that have stuck around uh, for the end of the lesson. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting that Burglar um, link in the, in the bio or in the description, but... You know, for you guys that have stuck around today, that's uh, for you today. Um, and, you know, that's just to help my retention too as well, uh, to get you guys to stick around for the entire video. But anyways, uh, I am all set for today, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.